under the scope of operations management are not very good for people uh, who are uh, not uh, having experience in operations management side of things. So, so that's what I, you know, I like to say because a lot of consultancies and agencies they, you know, very uh, liberally and generally say, "Hey, look, go do this course operation." And a lot of people fall for it because it, operations management sounds very cool and it sounds like you're doing something very, you know, happening and things. But you've got to be a little careful because. Uh, to be an operations manager, you need to have certain amount of experience. Say today, I am es essentially, besides being the spokesperson for AJV, really what is my role? My role really is of being an operations manager because, uh, like I said, we are not a small team. We are 35 people. We are spread across two, three different countries. We have different departments. We have marketing. We have sales. We have service. We have onshore. We have offshore. We have, you know, all these complexities are there. And, you know, I'm a guy who's about to turn 50. So at my level and my age and my experience, operations management would kind of begin to fit in a bit more clearly. I'm not saying it won't fit in for a lot younger people, but you need to have at least four, three, four, four, five years of experience before you can call yourself an operations manager. Because if you have not been involved with operations at all, how can you become an operations manager is my question. So you've got to be a little careful before jumping into things like operation man operations management and things like that. Think